YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video, guys. And today's video is going to be on five tight ends that you should be stashing in week four, guys, going forward into your season. Yes, guys, five tight ends. So, guys, with no further ado, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting-edge content, guys. Also, guys, if you won't need personable help, because I know you ain't some, in a rocking, you, you, you're probably having a tough time right now. I couldn't get that out. I'm sorry. But, Guys, if you want to get a personal uh, consultation with me, hit me up on OnlyFans, guys. Only $10 a month. Or, guys, if you just need a regular consultation and you don't want to subscribe to the OnlyFans, it's just uh, fantasy football content over there. And you can just get a $40 consultation, guys. But I know you need help, and I'm here for you. It's your bro, bro, TD. So, guys, let's start. The first guy that you should be stashing is Albert O. I know a lot of people have dropped him because this offense on Denver hasn't looked good. But Albert O is a 6'6", big guy that I think is very athletic can run. They just got to find out how to use him. He might not be able to separate the way they want him. He might need to learn a little bit more because he's young. I think he's going to be fine. So you want to stash him. Dynasty, most definitely. He's not even on a waiver wire in Dynasty. But in redraft, I think this guy could have a better second half of the season. So I, don't, I think you should stash this guy, especially if he's streaming tight end. If you're not, then maybe this guy's nothing to you because the tight end is very volatile in fantasy. We all know that, right? Let's move on. The next guy is Cameron Bray. Now, the only reason why I'm missing Cameron Bray from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is because Tom Brady is his quarterback, and Tom Brady know how to use tight ends better than probably any quarterback in the history of the game. So that's why I'm high on Cameron Bray. He's not athletically, extremely gifted or anything like that. He's not Rob Gronkowski, but he is a good tight end when Tom Brady is his quarterback because he's going to look for him in the red zone. So that's what this guy, just a long shot play. You want to, uh, don, I mean, you want to buy a week and your week and your league guys, you can throw this guy out here because it's going to get tight, right? When we get to these buys, we might not have nobody. So you might have to just put Cameron Brady in there and call it a day. Um, let's move on. The next guy, guys, is Jelani Woods. Yes, from the Indianapolis Colts. Now, listen, it's just one game. I just seen one game. He could hit two, two catches for two touchdowns. That's got to mean something. So, stash. This is a stash video. So, I'm just saying stash him because Mo Alley Cox ain't getting it done. Kyle Granson ain't getting it done. So, maybe Jelani Woods is the guy. They talked a lot about him in the season. I mean, early in the season. Talking about Jelani, it's okay. Matt Ryan went to him in clutch times. So, I think Jelani is a nice stash. Okay, guys, let's move on. The next guy is from the New England Patriots and is Hunter Henry, guys. Yes, Hunter Henry. And the reason why I like Hunter Henry is because, for one, Brian Hoyer is coming in there. Brian Hoyer is great in the mind. He just doesn't have the athletic ability in, the, in his own strength like he used to, but he still can wheel and deal. He knows where to go. This is the most important thing when you're playing quarterback in the NFL. So that's going to help Hunter Henry out. Uh, I think things just got a little fast for your boy Matt Jones. I think Matt Jones is going to be fine, but I think Brian Hoyer is going to play very safe, and he's going to get the ball out to guys like Hunter Henry. So, guys, I think Hunter Henry is a good streamable guy if you need to stream him or just stash him in, ca in case you are streaming tight ends and you just want to play it like matchups, like the DST matchups. Some people put the two defenses on their team and play the matchups. Same thing with tight ends. They so volatile, you can do that. You put two guys on your team and play the matchups. And I think Hunter Henry would be a good guy, a, a good clinic candidate for that. All right, guys, the last but not least guy that I think you should be stashing as a tight end for week four, guys, is Daniel Bellinger from the uh, New York Giants. Listen, it's it's very uh it's not good out there for tight ends. But Daniel Bellinger is getting targets. That's all I can tell you. Um, I think I like I love the offense. I love Brian Dayball. They're not putting a lot of pressure on Daniel Bellinger. He's just gonna get in targets. So can he have a fall in touchdown? Of course, it's tight end. You know, anybody can have a fall in touchdown. But I love I think his targets are safe. I think he's been getting at least four to five targets each each of the weeks that he's played. So guys, that's Daniel Bellinger. So guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content, guys. Peace.